Paul Tisdale, difficult afternoon. Yeah, not a good one. Not a good one. Is it one of those when you look at your side or you say Bristol Rovers, that's probably as good a performance as you're going to come up against? Um, I have to look at my side. You know, you have to... However well the opposition plays, um, it's about, as a manager, it's about what your team does and we weren't anywhere near good enough. Why do you think that was? I'm not sure where to start. I mean, it, it really, it really was a poor day for us. Um, it's the first time I've had that experience as manager here, so I've got to be really, particularly cold about my opinions today. I don't think it's a day for or a moment for um, too many reactions straight away. I know the, the the performance was nowhere near good enough. Somehow we had no connection or rhythm in the side and then it comes down to individuals how do you play as an individual and that wasn't good enough either so th- there were one or two performances in there other than that we were below par everywhere so combination of a lot of things it's about how we react next I'm still I'm still very much engaged with the team in the three months I've been here I've done nothing but good stuff and reacted well to everything I've done um, this is our first real test so um we, the players, we all go home this weekend. We consider what we've done, and we consider our response on Monday. And that's that's what you you need to do, and what we will do. You can see the contrast in front of the two goals. At one end, Bristol Rovers were carving their chances and forcing saves. But at the other end, it was almost mayhem in the opposite area when you had your chances. Yeah, I mean that's the that's the that's the product of the process and the process from end to end they had the process and therefore they're, 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 the outcomes the, the opportunity at their end their attacking end were far better than ours they created that well played to them we could have done more to stop it perhaps I mean, Christie did well in goal so once conceded four goals I thought he, he did particularly well so look I um been it before and how this happens and you have to it does happen every now and then it's how you respond and what happens next as I've just said you take learnings from today take what sorry learnings you learn every week and it's another set of circumstances that the players in front of me have have um, played with maybe not done so well and I, I've, I've learned as I always will do every game about the players I have and about how they how they think and how they play and it's Sometimes it's a, it's a tough lesson, but one will take and, and move forward. Um, no, you don't particularly want to look at the league table, but end of January, you kind of played yourself out, out of trouble, but started to look over your shoulder again. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I'm a professional. I have that pre- professional concern about the league table. That's where we're all judged, ultimately. Um, we've, had a, we've had a couple of, we've had a couple of um, poor weeks in terms of point return. So... Um, as I said, it's the first game that we've not been, in my opinion, that we've not been in it with a chance of a result. It's the first one, so um, I need to I need to think about that. And I still I'm still engaged with the players, as I've said. I still think we've got just because of one game that's gone particularly wrong, it doesn't mean I've not lost the confidence in them. So um, they need to show me that in their performance next week. Thanks, Paul.